Hi guys, it's Santa Mojo. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I am back again. Back again. <laughs> I am back on my vlogging shit. I have a bunch of amazing videos lined up for you guys. Very high quality. Shot on a camera. Huge for me. I know. No need. No need to clap. Settle down. Where Ari and I go through a book of all my looks in the past that I've worn and just roast them because what the fuck was I wearing? I'm shooting a video today with Amari, Ashley, and Trevi where we watch... Um, like, what was that thing called? Literally. <laughs> 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 Where we watch our MTV show back, all the clips and react to them. And I've actually never seen our MTV show, so it's gonna be a really interesting day. I have a big vlog extravaganza of Bella Thorne, Hunter and I in Ibiza, which is just a hilarious sentence. Takes me back, giving time machine. As you guys may or may not know, since stopping my own podcast, I have been co-hosting Jeff FM with Jeff Wittick. In the meantime, until I am back in the podcasting space with Brooke and all my friends and everyone, and you know, doing my own thing, Jeff has been so gracious to allow me on the Jeff FM set over and over again. As we've gotten closer, we decided that we needed to do a chemistry read is what we literally called it and go on a trip together and vlog and see how things went. We went to New York City for fashion week. This was like my fifth fashion week. It was Jeff's first, I think. And it's very funny because I feel like Jeff gets me to do like wholesome ass shit, you know? Like Jeff's gonna make me drink a green juice and like go to the gym, be sober and podcast about my life. But it's very fun bringing Jeff into my life where it's like, we're gonna sit at this fashion show and we're gonna go to these parties and gonna dress up and take photos and whole nine. So Jeff went with me to fashion week and we vlogged it. I'm filming this clip to let you know that this is a very typical Tana Mojo iPhone vlog. I've been vlogging on my iPhone since the dawn of time and it might be my downfall. So this is very much BTS iPhone. Looks like it was filmed on a toaster quality of the BTS of our New York trip. So grateful for Jeff. I feel like I haven't been around someone or vlogging with someone that makes me so excited to make content the way Jeff does. We just have amazing chemistry together and are so funny and it's so fun. If you're looking for something more high quality and shot really well and edited by a team of people and good, over on Jeff's channel, he vlogged the whole thing. We literally went in the street and we did interviews with people like with a microphone, a bunch of crazy different shit. And it's my favorite video I've been in in probably like a year. This is kind of my low quality BTS vlog of the trip as Tana does. So after you're done watching this, make sure to go over to Jeff's channel and watch the good version of this video. But I just wanted to let you guys know that before we dove into an iPhone vlog. I'm back on my YouTube shit. I missed you guys. I have so much coming for you and you know that this is my favorite, favorite, favorite place to be. Thank you for watching and always letting me take little breaks when I need to for my sanity. But a bitch is back and in today's video, a bitch is in New York. So slay. Before I let you go, make sure to subscribe. Stay so gorgeous. Decided to not start a travel vlog in my house for once. Really trying to spice up the video quality for all of you. Thank you, sir. Paige and I are headed to New York Fashion Week. <laughs> Kyla quit, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Partially kidding. We are headed there with Jeff and his team right now, which is gonna make for a very interesting trip. I will follow up when things get interesting, but I'm giving first lady right now. Slay. We just left Jeff and Kyle to use clear to flex on them because we didn't want to wait in this line. And now I think they're gonna get through the line before us. Clear is giving stuffed. Not good. <laughs> They were so humble about it. And now look at them beating us. <laughs> so fucking embarrassing. We made it through before that victory is so sweet. Off to the bar. <laughs> Show your outfit. Jeff's like so hyper fixated on my outfit as well, if it's like know. slutty. <laughs> it's a bodysuit and he keeps okay. saying they don't know it closes at the pussy. Is that what yeah, you're they saying? don't know it. No, say it, say it. Gonna... I don't want to say that. Now his cash is down there and you push it. You censor it, show <laughs> Noah Beck. <laughs> Noah Beck is sitting in front of us, which automatically just makes this ten times. We're gonna join the Mile High Club with Noah. We're Pitching both gonna him. fuck him at the same time. We're gonna threesome with Noah. I just caught a Dixie D'Amelio on Polo in one clip. <laughs> Are they still together? Ask him. No one. <laughs> <laughs> this is already so bad. Stay tuned. He's high as fuck making me listen to his music choices. You know Finding my own headphones. No, I don't know this. You don't know this song? Oh. <laughs> it's like we're filming 9-11. It's like Pam and Dami take on 9-11. <laughs> It's gonna do it. It's gonna fuck 
can do it. Put your headphone back in. Put it in your ear. Put it in your ear. Put it in your ear. Put your headphone in your ear. Look at this now. Look at this. Watch. Look at this shit. Am I on punk? Where the fuck is Ashton Kutcher? New York. New York. What's up, guys? We meant to get a room with two beds, like a two bedroom suite. Like I think college dorms are bigger. Like our luggages can't even open. It's giving like Home Depot shed. So I'm getting ready on the floor right now. Stay tuned. Oh, can't wait to spoon. <laughs> Hello, my beautiful people. I am crouching on the floor because there's no lighting in this room and I was not about to do myself wrong. Um, I'm dressed. That's my armpit, not cute. The dress is red. We're going to a Sherry Hill show. I would give you all the details, but I ever so literally don't have time. The dress is fucking red, okay? Like, slay. For once in life, I am ready before Jeff. What? No, you're lying. This is all cat. Let's go. Let's go slay. Let's go. Fucking walk out the door then. Are you throwing 9 11? Uh, 14. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Crazy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Where were you? Do you remember? The Bronx. In the Bronx, huh? Sad day from New York. Never forget. She forgot this one. I had to remind her. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, wait, what? Slipped my mind. <laughs> Completely slipped my mind. <laughs> So fucked up. Oh my, god. oh my god. I can't figure out if we bring out the best or the worst to each other, Jeff. Haven't even walked to my first fashion show and just signed a Dizzy Can bitch. So when you get to a fashion show, they tell you where you're sitting solely based on how relevant you are. So Jeff and I were so scared, but we are middle front row. The show is about to start. I can't see shit. Jeff can't see anything, so I just told him I would be a seeing eye dog. What's going on? Get on all fours, I'll bark. Somebody's waving, are they waving at us? I can't tell. I got up for two seconds and eight different bitches tried to steal my seat because they wanted to fuck Jeff. Wow, that piece is amazing. Slay, slay, slay. Let's slay. She's slaying. Slay, bitch. How was your first fashion show? One show down. <laughs> it was fucking, it was uh, It was fucking, it was slay, it was it was fucking. Hey, hey, ready to drink? Yeah. The scar carrying the show. We're playing Ken doll dress up simulator right just now. Wear the heels. Paige just told Jeff the black shoe is giving peg leg. Arr. Why don't what you wear these? these? What are the black here Instagram and ask them? Let's ask the audience. This is gonna get progressively worse. That's my kind of girl right there. I thought he was gonna get mad, so I filmed him. Jeff's getting in a fight outside of Catch Steak. <laughs> Paige moving. Stop, you do not get in a fight. I'm like that girl, I'm like, this is not you. Guys, like, guys, stop. <laughs> I was up. making jokes while Jeff's about to actually get in a fist fight outside of Catch Steak. I think someone just pulled a gun, but I'm not sure. How do you feel? Yeah, incredible. <laughs> Tana, listen, my friend is over here. He's interested in doing TanaCon 2 with you. He's right here. Let's go over there and have a chat with him. It's my job. Ja Rule, come on. It's really Mike at a dinner by himself with 18 girls for him for me. Check this one out. 18 girls at one dinner for Mike Maylock. Can you make it a little brighter? Yo. Jeff is about to cut Mike's hair at this chow dinner. I got my straight razor blade. I gotta load up a blade. You see, there's no blade in it. Don't worry, this is not what it looks like. Session on mental health. Relax, buddy, okay? There's no way. It's fine. Don't make a big deal about it. Go to the front desk and go get a bandage. Don't make a big deal about it, but I'm gushing blood everywhere. I need to get stitches. Mike, Mike, Mike. I'm gonna have to get stitches now. Mike Baylock's blood is on me. Yo, <laughs> yo, gore. What fucking noise for? Miss Scarlet! Slay or slay? Oh, slay, slay. Oh, you're slaying. You're slaying, slay slay slayer. All stitched up, left the hospital the same night, what? Got my cat back. I can't believe it. Paige and I are so goddamn happy. Thank God. Look at it. Mm. Check it out. Insane. Mm. New York, New York. I feel like Frank Sinatra. My way. My <laughs> way. <laughs> 
the next day. So guys, we're getting ready right now. I don't know what we're doing yet. We have a bunch of options. My stylist gave me this amazing Rick Owens leather dress. It's very, very hard to get on and it like suctions to you. So I have to put it on before I do my makeup. Paige is going to help me put this on and I thought I would record it. I'm going to be so excited to watch this footage back. <laughs> it's going to be like her leg on the ceiling, like a titty, like on the floor. Okay, found the armhole. Cool, cool, cool. Is this the armhole? And then head hole. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. All right, thanks for watching. I was just trembling bringing this shot over here and I was like debating on if it was the coffee or if I'm having the literal shakes because I need alcohol. Ready? I thought you were like comparing which is more. <laughs> like eye level. I'm not going to pick it up again this year so I'm going to spill it. <laughs> Wait, why am I shaking too? I think my problem is now like Sprite just tastes like Casamigos to me. This entire clip cries for help. Okay guys, I'm on my way to the Daily Front Row Awards. I look so cute and gorgeous. Love to see it. Jeff is really mad at me. I don't give a shit. This was a vlog clip. Can you like turn it on? <laughs> How could you do this to me? <laughs> you know what? Get the fuck out. Just go. I'll see you Get in the LA. fuck out. I'll see you in LA. I'll see you in LA. I didn't mean it to curse, but just go. Kyle. Get her out. Remove <laughs> her. You. Out. Damn, you're kind of rough with it, Kyle. Jeff, she's gone. <laughs> What's up, guys? And welcome back to a new segment Jeff and I are introducing calling Micro Podcast. We just invented it. It's called the Micro Pod. We need to emergency address something that A situation happened. that we're in. We will be addressing a TikTok that was made about us. More so me, honestly, by a woman named Monica. Not, Not Tana Mojo being invited to a fashion, fashion show, show getting, getting dressed, dressed by, by them, them only, only to, to post, post something. Like she also captioned this, I knew not to come up to her and then left several comments saying I was rude. First of all, how would you know she's rude if you didn't even come up to her? Second of all, who gives a fuck? We're not fashion show people. We were self-deprecating. <laughs> we're making fun of ourselves, all right? One, they didn't dress me. Two, if you're inviting Tana Mojo to a fashion show, you're not inviting her for fashion commentary. Yeah. <laughs> Three, we took photos with everyone there and we were so nice to them. Were we not nice? Yeah, I was so was nice. Was I nice? I was so nice. She was making fun of the fact that she brought me to a fashion show. Now imagine I brought her to a UFC fight. She would say, look at me pretending to be interested in these goons. Yeah. <laughs> so all in all, we had a great time at Cherry Hill. Thank you so much for inviting us. We enjoyed the show. We met her. We met her daughter. Speaking of that, I want to segue into UFC. My opinion <laughs> on the fight tonight. I'm putting my money on Hamza and Nate Diaz. And I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> What's another topic for our micropod? What else is going on in the news? You guys got any topics? The Queen's dead. Should we do a weather segment? The oh, Queen, Queen. The Queen is dead. <laughs> 9-11's tomorrow. Stop. Never. So thank you so much to Monica for making that TikTok, calling us awful cunts, even though we had a great time. And for Shout out to us. Sherry Hill for inviting us personally. <laughs> and helping us conceptualize the idea of micro-podcasting. Let us know if you guys enjoyed this and any topics you'd like us to talk about in the next micro-podcast. I came up with the idea for it, actually. How was that for our first scandal? I don't know if we'll ever come back from it. <laughs> One hour later. The most toxic group of women I've personally ever seen. Just met this queen. Went to Tanacon, OG fan over here. Story times my life. She went to fucking Tanacon. She went to Tanacon. That's it. That's the whole vlog. The fact that Josie and I have matching tattoos of the word shoes. I feel so bad for anyone who doesn't literally gain us. <laughs> Welcome to the 2022 Fashion Media Awards. My name is Busy Phillips. I'm going to be your host. I'm very, very thrilled that the Daily Front Row called me, even though I like, actually know that I was their backup plan. For the first time. Anyway, <laughs> my, my fashion inspiration is how do we know each other? I still feel very paternal from you towards the lighting. Is there a commitment to, to supporting up and coming? I've been able to work with someone that's so special to me. I'm stopping to get a hot dog and Josie will not let me be Because barefoot. you're going to get worms. Just one second. She's going to get a hot dog and then the whole car is going to smell like dick. Right. <laughs> hey, Betsy. We have to go to a big fashion party. And you will make me get out for a hot dog? Ask me to get out barefoot. Also in your city. In Times Square. What are we buying right now? We did a company expense. Uh, us get Don't give this scumbag. I just bought my broom to buy on your card. I owe you money. Yes. Sugar mama. Corey <laughs> Morton. Say things. Slay. <laughs> Tan is a little sauced up, huh? Hair oil, it's actually healthy for your hair. We love that. We're we going for a wet look. <laughs> Jeff's actually my hairstylist for all of Fashion Week. I got so lucky. 
morning. It's day three. It's 5 p.m. It is. Jeff and I are spiraling. Are we allowed to talk about what happened last night? No. No? No, I think so. It's in bad taste. So we're going through a tough time today. We're having an intervention. <laughs> and I can't tell you why. Just trust that we're good people and we just got fucked in life, you know? That's like something a bad person would say. <laughs> why, God? Why do you... You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not fair. Let's go slay. Let's go out vlogging. Thought daughter or NFT son? Thought daughter, NFT son. <laughs> in other important news, Austin McBroom got knocked out last night. Do you feel bad for him? Do you? No. <laughs> he's, an he's an arrogant fuck. What a show he put on for the fans, huh? Everybody wanted to see him. All 100 fun. people there. <laughs> what would you say Jeff's most toxic trait is? My, I'm too nice. I get taken advantage of because I'm too nice and too kind to my employees. I mean, the brain damage isn't really your fault, but... <laughs> <laughs> what do you think is your biggest red flag? You, like, really can't think of one. You go first. You literally got into a fist fight outside of catch two nights ago. <laughs> it was self-defense. Paige, what are my toxic traits? Tell me one. Just one. <laughs> it's the time management, time manipulation, management. lack of human decency. <laughs> God damn it. I think uh, I have trouble with commitment. I'm scared of commitment. Uh, I self-sabotage a lot. But this is too oh. real. This is actually like- Wait, what are my red flags? Wow, I don't know if I actually think you have any. Paige doesn't have any yet. What are my red flags? Uh, smoking too much weed. <laughs> You're, uh, kind of negative sometimes, you know? You know <laughs> I don't know why I started this conversation. We could have just, like, talked yes. about the weather. <laughs> Cut everything I just said. I'm just going to get a therapist and stop trying to get free therapy out of you. Face to face, but they don't see eye to eye. It's a good crane. They got some good cranes out here. We're back at catch. Are you feeling fighty? No, don't put that in. <laughs> Dinner. Get it well done. Get it well so done. well done. Robert knows me so well. I like that shit charred. The queen is dead. I think I just broke my two front veneers on a uh, cauliflower. So that's great. The most toxic group in the entire world. How do you feel? Uh, I, I'm, you know, I'm just ready to send it. <laughs> yeah. It's like a gun to your head. You're like, I'm just ready to send I'm it. I'm having a blast. You know, I wish <laughs> I could send Me with a gun off camera. <laughs> Get in the fucking car. Get I'm getting my clout. You kind of have the same face as Dixie D'Amelio. I know. You want head? Not to me. The next day. Just just now following Jeff on Instagram. Follow back. <laughs> I'm like like for like. Good morning, New York. We're leaving today. I think we're about to go meet Jeff's parents in Staten Island. I have like such an affinity for like making sure parents really like me. So when I meet parents, I give it my all. And like I'm just do you hear my voice? Like they're like I don't want it. Like, but I'm turning on this vlog camera right now. It's taken me like 10 minutes to even muster up the courage to vlog about this. And of course I'm doing it like this. So when my ex sees it, he's going to see me looking and sounding like this, which will just reaffirm why he doesn't want to be with me. Not that I want to be with him. Oh my God, I can't even do it yet. Ah! Last night we were at this party. I'm standing there in a group of people and I turn around and I see my ex-boyfriend and we broke up like over a year ago. We immediately like blocked each other on everything and did not speak one time time which if you know anything about me you know i don't do i reduce i reuse i recycle my exes this is one of the very few exes where we had a very clean breakup he wrote an entire album about how i should basically fucking die like when i'm 80 and i look at all the catalog of music written about me this album in my opinion will go down as just the outright meanest they slap. It, it's a great album. He did a great job. We turn around and we see each other. And he looks at me. And all this man says is, Oh my God, you got bangs. <laughs> you got bangs. <laughs> you got bangs. You got bangs. <laughs> you got bangs. <laughs> and I just now was reliving that moment. And I just had to share it with you. You got bangs. <laughs> oh my God, you got bangs around right now and interviewing the public he is so fucking good at it i've never been so bad at something in my life i feel like i'm just a part of his team right now Yo, really watching him shine oh. <laughs> i got pop one lung i got covid right now 
<laughs> Hello vlog. It's been a trip. We just went and did street interviews. That was the most nerve wracking, insane thing I've absolutely ever fucking done. Jeff is so good at it, but You're I. Fine. What are you talking about? Oh, so exactly. insane. Drama queen, she killed it. <laughs> We're pros. We got great chemistry. Big it was a little rough. We almost got into a little. Yeah. What you won't see is all of the people that we violently enraged. <laughs> We're gonna. We're gonna cut that out. New Yorkers. Um, they are yeah. angry. Now we are on our way to none other than Staten Island to meet. Well, Jeff's met them, but I'm going to meet Jeff's parents and i'm scared i'm really really scared you know that shit is getting serious when i'm bringing her to meet the parents <laughs> first thing i'm gonna say when i walk in mom she's pregnant yeah <laughs> and they I don't love. know this but right before you hit record you coughed your lungs up all over the place <laughs> and i rolled down the window because to be fair jeff has also been hacking and spitting as well we're down a little bad and why why um, you got us all infected oh I, mean. I did we're on our way i'll see you guys at jeff's parents excuse house. me sir could you play young and beautiful by lana del rey <laughs> Feels like uh, the Bachelor hometown date. <laughs> house is like that show Everybody Loves Raymond. <laughs> <laughs> that was the perfect video. <laughs> Look at that. This is not a drill. This is not a drill. This is not a drill. David Dobrik is two seats in front of After we've got all those bags, picture bags in between. We greatly appreciate your assistance. I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> We did it. We slayed. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? 